We're going to undertake an invocation of the elementals. First establishing ourselves securely in the center, and then addressing and connecting with each of these qualities. And finally, bringing them back together under the gaze of our synoptic care. I am situated at the center of a mandala. I have no choice in this matter. My own awareness is the center of my perceptions and concerns. I am embodied the center of a web of all that I know, all my relations, my sensations, my obstacles, and my opportunities. Life is moving around me in all directions to an unknown distance. I am the axis of a world protected by the circle of the unknown distance, encompassed by that sphere, bathed in a light, luminous, two-directional pillar of silence and speech. May it be so. Fire. I honor fire, a fire who dances with 10,000 forms in her belly. She is fickle. She cooks and she burns. She lights and she delights and she destroys. She demands vigilance and careful building. I adore the flame. He is rushing upward. He aspires to the pure tip of transformation. He is a marker in the dark and the crackling hint of a world above and beyond. I praise all that is hot and lit. I, too, am the fire. Water. I venerate the waters that are tranquil and refreshing and cleansing and which flow in the channels we carve. And I praise the terrible water that crashes and drowns us and erodes all structure and hides darkness of death and monsters. I praise all that is liquid. I, too, am the waters. Air. I worship the air that envelops and penetrates all life, transparent and vast, secret scintillations of intelligence contained within its transparency. I serve the wind that roars and shakes the world. I hear it whisper the words of the gods and the fluttering of leaves in a deep forest. I praise all that is spacious and invisible. I too am the wind. Earth. I honor the earth and the principle of grounding, of solid bodies and deep forms and cosmic places. I venerate earth for its fecundity and its permeability as the source of all plants and the final place for all animals. I praise groundedness and fertility. I too am the earth. Around me, and in me, and through me, and through this act of invocation, these four elemental powers are awakened and blended. They are acknowledged and incorporated. They are helped to grow into each other, where they will be transfigured into a fifth, a life-giving ether, an imaginal vitality whose flavor is the sign of myself, of ourselves, at the center of the mandala.